everybody! I am here to show off one of Pampered Chef's newest products from the spring of 2021 line, and that is the blue enameled cast iron. So we've had the gray um, enameled since the fall season, and blue seems to be a hot color. Check it out. It is gorgeous. So we have a one quart. Um, this is great for dips. Um, anything of that sort. And then we have the two quart, so casseroles, uh, breakfast bakes, which is what I'm gonna show you real quick here. Um, just check out that blue, it's gorgeous, so gorgeous. And it's quite, um, not too heavy, but it's really durable. So this is safe in the oven up to 500 degrees. Um, and Hand wash is recommended. So if you put it in the dishwasher, it's just gonna dull over time um, and not look as gorgeous. So it's, uh, you can do it, but it's highly recommended not to. So, and then we have our six quart. So this, we just recently made some chicken and rice. Uh, we started on the oven or sorry, started on the stove and then put it in the oven to finish. It was so fabulous. I'll share a picture in the comments. Um, so beautiful, nice lid. Uh, you see these dots on here, same as our gray line. Um, this will get the water to just drip inside instead of when you pick it up, the water falling down. So um, set this there. So here is our six quart absolutely fantastic we love this it's gorgeous just sitting on the stove so just gonna set this over here so today I'm gonna use the two quart and I am gonna show you a really simple breakfast bake um, that I found when we were in a hurry one morning so I have a family of five so three kids that eat a lot um, so I will share the recipe that I made um, in the comments as well, but I'm gonna make what it's called is an egg casserole for two, but we double it and it is enough to feed our family. Um, so it has, just for two, it has three eggs, three tablespoons of milk, two slices of bread, um, cause we love like hash browns, but we didn't have any that morning. So we put bread in this and it was great. Um, and then, a third cup shredded cheddar cheese, a third cup chopped meat, and then um, optional is one green onion, thinly sliced. So I'm gonna grab the milk real quick. Oops, sorry, pop. So what I did was I actually added, um, sorry, my phone's dying, so I'm gonna grab a charger, charger real quick. Um, so I added the egg, I added the milk, I put some bread in here, um, I put cheese in here, and then we have chopped meat already made from the other night that we're going to pop in here. So um, I wanted to show you our kitchen shears. These are fantastic and they're sharp, so if you buy or have, be careful. Charge you. So what I did was I took my bread, I just have a little piece left, and you're supposed to cut it into one inch cubes. So I just grabbed my kitchen shears and cut, cut, cut. So those are ready. And then um, what I also have over here is a little bit of, so I have my coarse grater. There's also a fine grater that we use for um, for Parmesan cheese, you can also use that one as a zester if you don't have one because it's so fine. Um, so that's a kind of a little multi-use. And so I just took our block cheese and I grabbed the awesome grater and it's quick. And we're ready with our cheese. So let me see right here. Um, I have my meat from the other day, so we're just going to put some sausage in there. Nice. Got my kids watching TV for the morning. So that's that. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then I have our super veggie enrichables. 
So this adds some mushroom, pumpkin, parsnip, broccoli, and cauliflower veggies to the meal. We have picky kids, so it's hard to give them vegetables, but this is absolutely great. So one scoop, just dump it in there. They don't even know. All right, so then over here, I have my two quart enamel baker and my spritzer. So I'm gonna just pump this up a little bit and spray it. This is gonna go in the oven on 350 degrees. there and then I'm just going to grab a scraper I already um, whisked my uh, eggs with our mini whisk so that was perfect and then I'm just mixing this up real nice and I'm gonna dump it in here Awesome, this goes so fast. It cooks for 20 minutes. So because I doubled the recipe, I'll probably add a few minutes. But yeah, look at this. We are like, Jackson. look at this, gorgeous. It's ready. It just goes in the oven. So I am going to pop it in there. One sec. We are done. So. I used my cake tester, which this thing comes in handy all the time. So just checked and we have nothing coming in on it. So check it out. It's gorgeous. I wish I had company. Show this baby off. Oh my gosh, it is so good and we are so hungry. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions so beautiful and so deserving in your kitchen.